I'm Kyle from Ideal Security. Today, I'm going to show you how to install our storm and screen door closers. At Ideal, we've got a complete range of door closers. Before getting started, let's make sure you've got the right one. There are three classes of door closer, standard, heavy, and heavy with torsion bar. The manufacturer of your door chose the best closer for it based on weight, thickness, frame material, and the amount of glass in the door. You should always replace your existing door closer with one of the same class. If your door closer has a torsion bar, like this, you need a heavy closer with a torsion bar. If it doesn't, you'll need to measure the diameter of the tube. Standard door closers have tube diameters of one and a quarter inches. Heavy door closers have diameters of one and a half inches. All of our door closers come in regular and quick hold variations, and some include storm chains as well. This video will help you install any of our standard or heavy door closers without torsion bars. Okay, now that you're sure you've got the right door closer, let's get to work. Start with the door closed. Determine the position for the jam bracket. The straight edge of the bracket should be 2 and 1 8 inches away from the door. Make sure the bracket is facing the right way, with the straight edge away from the door. Install the jam bracket using the four longer screws. If you're not using the existing holes, you may want to drill pilot holes to avoid splitting the wood of your door frame. Now, open the door and slip the hold open washer onto the rod. Attach the door closer to the jam bracket using the shorter of the two pins. Pull open the door closer a bit. Slide the washer past the lugs, lining it up with the mark on the rod. Release the closer so that the washer is now holding it open. This is called pre-tensioning the closer. Next, rotate the door closer, if necessary, so that the pinholes are on the side closest to the door. Attach the door bracket to the tube using the longer pin. You'll see there are two pinholes on both the door closer and the bracket. Make sure to use the holes at the far ends. Close the door and line up the bracket so that it's touching the door. If you need to drill new holes, mark the hole positions. Note that this bracket can accommodate a wide range of screw hole positions, so if you have existing holes on your door, you should be able to reuse them. Install the bracket on the door using the two shorter screws. This may be easier if you first remove the bracket from the closer. Reattach the closer to the bracket. With the installation done, let's test the door closer. Open the door and release the washer. Remember, we had it pre-tensioned. If your door closer includes a spring-loaded speed-release washer, it will release itself automatically when you open the door. Let your door close. It should shut smoothly and securely. If your door doesn't close, or the speed is too fast or too slow, you can adjust the tension on the door closer. There's a tension screw at the front end of the door closer. Turn the screw counterclockwise to have the door close faster or harder. Turn the screw clockwise to have it close more slowly. Our door closers also feature a seasonal adjustment. In the standard installation position, the door closer is set for a door with a glass window. If you remove your window in the summer, your door will be lighter. You can account for this by using the second pinhole on the tube to attach it to the door bracket. If you have any questions about Ideal Security's door closers or any other Ideal Security products, visit our website at www.idealinc.com. You can find instruction manuals and product specifications. Check our FAQ or contact us for more help. Thanks for choosing Ideal Security, and we hope you enjoy your new storm door closer.